And no look pass in my mind is like one of the greatest things ever. What a move by Jason Williams. Williams, oh, no look pass. There are no look pass. The most difficult thing is making sure that no one's in the direction that you're not looking. If somebody says they haven't seen Pat Mahomes do it, they're lying. In his first season as a starter, Patrick Mahomes did things that awed the NFL. But perhaps nothing Mahomes did caught our eyes more than the moment his eyes looked the other way. After I broke the huddle, I, I actually sent, sent my receiver, uh, Garrick Dieter, in motion the wrong way. And so I knew there was going to have to kind of make something happen because they got a good pass rush. And so I stepped up and stepped up again. And they had the, the safety right in the window of where I wanted to throw. So I kind of just gave him the look to the right. Mahomes fires it late down the field, caught at the 45-yard line. It was the perfect opportunity where I needed to move the safety, and I just did it. Look at the magic of the quarterback. Throws it like almost a no look. That's incredible. Man, I'm standing right next to him, and I still didn't know who he was throwing the ball to. How did he do that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe it. Like, how in the hell did he do that? It's amazing. I knew it was going to look pretty sweet when I got home. I, it was something that uh, I, I threw it, and I kind of meant, I was like, man, I can't believe I, I just did that. Indeed, there is an art to the no-look pass, one rooted not in football, but in basketball. A dribble behind the back. Look. Oh, what a play. Magic Johnson, look one way, throw the ball another. Jason, <laughs> oh, what a pass. Are you kidding me? A little white chocolate. And no one mastered that art, like 13-year NBA veteran Jason Williams a.k.a. white chocolate. I think the keys to this no-look pass is, one, you got to have guts to think that you can be successful. I'm sure Pat Mahomes practices no-look passing just like I did, so when the time comes, you know, you smell that popcorn, it's, it's, it's do or die, and you got all the confidence in the world that it's going to be successful. You have to see the area first. The defenses are going to be in the right position sometimes, and you have to make sure that you're able to get them out of that position and make the throw, and you just put in that area and trust your receiver to go get it. There is definitely a strategic purpose to a no-look pass. The whole defense is, is usually going to be shifting too, so if you're just, you know, look away, bam. What do you think are the similarities of a no-look pass in basketball and football? It's just a harder sport, I think, football is than basketball. And let's don't get it twisted. I was throwing the ball to Maul, so I could do pretty much anything as long as in his vicinity he's catching it. It might have seemed spontaneous when Mahomes looked right and threw left, but this stunt started four years ago on a practice field in Lubbock, Texas. It started off as like a, a little joke that me and my buddy Nick Shimanek used to do. You're out of Texas Tech. What made you decide to throw a no-look pass? So originally how it started was, say we have three receivers over to the right. The furthest inside receiver is running a little bubble screen. I'm doing the same action. I'm looking at the bubble screen like I'm about, about to throw it and then I just throw the slant right behind him. <laughs> Cliff kind of mentioned it, and I was saying I could do it, of course, and then we kind of started doing it into the net, and then uh, it kind of evolved into the practices, and we were trying to one-up each other who can do the best no-look, and of course, Coach, Coach King was, was in on it. That next spring is whenever we really started to get competitive with it, where we were, okay, I, I did it at 15 yards, and then Patrick would come back and do it at 20 yards, and then I would try to do it at 25 or whatever. We would just always constantly try to one up each other. I did it for the first time in the game versus Oklahoma State my last year in college. That throw by Mahomes came from the hip. How does he do that? I remember thinking from the sideline, like, okay, that, that was ballsy. However, not every Mahomes no look ends in perfection. Mahomes overthrows Kelsey. Uh, no look. Should have looked. Every time that me and Kelsey kind of ran that play, he'd been on the front pylon and I ripped it to him. I got kind of in between throwing it hard and trying to lob it, and I threw it pretty much on like the second row with no look. Now we can only wonder what wrinkle is added next. If Mahomes is bringing basketball moves to the gridiron, Williams has an idea. The next thing I'm waiting on and I need to see is the behind the back pass, maybe underhand though. If anybody can do it, it's gonna be Pat Mahomes for sure. Chances aren't high but right now. Uh, it'd have to be a perfect situation and it would just have to happen, but I mean, you never know. I practiced it a couple times last year in practice during a game week and I missed it one time and Coach Reed pretty much vetoed it after that. 